Drake, Drake is pop to me. In the sense, like, if I was in Target in Houston and I heard a Drake song, it feels like a lot of his music is compatible with shopping. <laughs> Commercial music. Oh, as well. see what see here's the thing though before i continue did it make you look like you hating or you saying something crazy when people laugh at what you say when you probably didn't mean it like that like if somebody laugh at something that i really didn't intend to be funny it make it look worse than what i actually said well it's Commercial you know music. shopping with an edge in certain instances Fair. I like Drake's music, but I understand exactly what you're saying. Of course, I mean, I, it's, I, I it's get commercial, it. entertaining, fun, it's, good, it's, formulaic music. It's likable. Likable music, yeah. It's likable. Um, but oh, yeah, is no. it? Oh no, he hating. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna leave you alone. Nigga laughing, no. Um, Why is he doing that though? <laughs> Why is he doing that? So many products. So many so, skews. So many skews. <laughs> Look at all these skews. Oh, so many products. So much merchandising. So oh, many I barcodes. This, I love this mall. <laughs> Look at this place. I mean, look at this place. They have everything. And she eating it up. Stop laughing. Stop laughing. You're making it let worse. The boy hold it. Everything's here. <laughs> they have everything here. Oh, this is great. This is a new Drake. You hear it? It's great. So what's your problem? Okay. What happens when this thing collapses? What happens when the columns start buckling? Are we not in some early stage of that at this present hour? Are we seeing like the collapse of the empire? Buying and selling, where's the message that I can use? Right. You know, what's in it for your audience apart from like banging the okay so old heads love hating on new niggas i mean drake is not new drake is like 15 years drake's almost two decades into his career i mean actually more than that so it wouldn't i wouldn't say that but um i don't know like if, if you could add context to what he's saying if you wanted to compare it to like a grocery store for instance and you say like the mega corporations are who bully the smaller yet arguably better material from from reaching your local environment like you're gonna see a walmart nine times out of ten more than you'd see like a store that grows their food without all the extra products and shit like that and I, we've been talking about this for a minute i mean i've switched my argument from drake into being like a talent conversation into being a capitalist conversation where you basically have to uh adhere to him because he's the biggest and you can't escape him you can't escape drake even if you want to, he's everywhere. And sometimes, you know, that's a result of his own, you know what I'm saying, influence and him calling himself the best. Other times, this is a result of just purely hype. And he's the biggest, and we don't really have a choice. I mean, he's everywhere, you know? He's everywhere. But I do feel like old heads have something against Drake, though. It comes off like that in this interview because you would look at it and be like, well, is Drake like, is it offensive enough to like be bad? Is it offensive enough to, you know, uh, be problematic? Like, does Drake's existence harm smaller acts? Does Drake's existence as a rapper, you know what I'm saying, um, put people at risk or in jeopardy of anything? I think for preferences, I think for, uh, just overall finding music and shit like that. It makes it harder when there is such an overarching force kind of dominating the field. And it makes people, even if they don't want to give attention to certain types of music that they otherwise would stay away from and just find their own shit. But I find it hard to just exclusively blame Drake for that. Like, it's just hard. I'm not saying he is either. I just think that he's not impressed. Me personally, I'm not either. When a whole bunch of people have access sure, to a let's thing. Keep it 100. Drake's music has no teeth. No, music I'm not saying it does. Know what I mean. I'm not AKA saying it does. Rap, lol. But when a whole bunch of people like a certain thing and you know that that thing exists everywhere, but you also know that there's another version of that thing that exists likely for a cheaper price that is of better quality, 
and these niggas are trying to tell you that this is the one that you have to get it's like can y'all shut the fuck up can you be quiet can you stop talking to me about this i don't even know how they got to drake in the first place i don't know if the interviewer asked him and you know that's why he went you know on this little mini tangent or whatever but when people come to you telling you this is the best thing and you know that not to be a case and it's there because of its overarching dominance not because of how good it is or the quality of it or how good it is for you now you left arguing with people that don't even know what the fuck they talking about and i'm sure that he's above arguing with niggas having discourse about his preferences and shit like that you calling him a fast fashion nigga versus quality clothing i'm saying it's fast fashion i'm saying it's fast food versus you know holistic shit i'm saying it's um you know underground versus mainstream to a degree you know but and there's nothing wrong with that like if you want to be on some shit that everybody else is on that's cool because sometimes the shit that everybody else is on is also good you go see the the new spider-man movie the far from home shit and you're like okay well there's better more carefully crafted movies that don't just rely on fan service and hype and the nostalgia factor but you can still go have fun. I'm not saying it's like a problem to go and enjoy Drake. I think that people that make it seem like it's a problem are what, you know what I'm saying, make people feel like insecure about their preferences or whatnot. But I also, like I said, I'm not a fan of the whole like this is the best. And I know it's not. And you don't even know what it is that I'm talking about either. I'm showing you something you've never seen before in your life. And you are gung ho that this is the best shit you've ever heard or seen. That's why it's a problem. It's very corporate in the hip hop space. Yeah, that's what that's what takes. I don't know the, the the fun out of it. Like when I really started my music channel in the beginning, I was really naive to the idea that I could literally just it was only about the music and that was it. As we continued, it became about everything. But so when he's asking like, what happens when this whole thing collapses? It's like, what do you have left after, you know, the hype? What do you have left after, you know, the 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 trend, I guess? Like, what's next? What What's beyond that, I guess? Is that enough for you? And if it is, then keep going with it. But if it's not, and it's not for a lot of people, then, like, what happens? This can't be the foundation for all of this. If you think Drake is the foundation of hip-hop, then, like, what the fuck? But, again, I don't even think that he's saying that. I don't even think that the interview a interviewer asked that. Like, how did we get here is the question that I have. She knows asking a rapper like Mos Def, who is reasonably in anybody's top positions or top spots if they had to make a list of their favorite rappers or best rappers objectively, that's going to cause a response that isn't charitable to drake it's kind of like it's kind of like bait and so i feel like you know interviewers should be above asking questions like that knowing that people are going to look at it and assume probably that it's a little uh hating like people gonna look at this and be like oh yeah he just he, he, he mad at the success he washed up he oh he don't get it blah 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 so I just feel like it's a baity, baity kind of question. I don't like it like that. Um, but I still want to see the the beginning like context. But he's if he's reluctant or hesitant to answer, he knows what the reaction from the general public is going to be because he knows how many people like Drake. He knows that everybody at Drake is for everyone. Yeah, I mean, if you if you if you make yourself convenient for people. And you are at a level that is at least tolerable for the average person to consume. I mean, you're going to be that staple. I don't think that disqualifies Drake from hip hop because of that. But I also don't get what the question is supposed to be because Drake is obviously a part of hip hop. He's obviously a part of hip hop, bro. Like whether you like it or not, he's a rapper. He raps well, albeit occasionally. You have a lot of examples in his discography where he's rapping well, putting out uh, great music at a certain point, putting out some really, you know what I'm saying, catchy material. Um, all of it doesn't fall within the hip-hop lane specifically, but because Drake is so uh, for everyone, 
he's going to get this criticism a lot as opposed to like existing in a bit of a niche or kind of focusing on one particular thing uh, or just focusing on making great music consistently. Drake is a very inconsistent artist. I don't think it could all be narrowed down to one thing as simple as like, oh, he's just pop. Because he's there's examples where he hasn't been exclusively catering to pop or exclusively trying to exist for everyone or to be consumed by everyone. Like, what do you want it to, to exist as? I'm me personally. I'm good with the way hip hop is now. You're not going to catch me listening to a whole bunch of. You know what I'm saying? I mean, occasionally I will, because sometimes I'll be in that mood, but I'm also cool with the new shit. And it relied on a different thing. Hip hop relied on different specifications in most Def's era because it hadn't been introduced to as wide of an audience. It wasn't as palatable or as digestible to nearly as many people as it is now. But if Drake existed during most Def's era. What they probably mean is getting back to the main tenets of hip hop. We should look that up. Yeah, but what are the main tenets of hip hop? If I'm looking for those things, Drake still meets all those qualifications. He just isn't interesting to listen to. Like what 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 do you want what 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 is what is Drake failing to meet in terms of hip hop standards? I guess you could say substance, but that's requiring every hip hop record to have substance, which I don't think it needs to have. Sometimes you could just have fun. Me the whole like hip hop needs to have a message situation is like the equivalent of saying like every black movie needs to have a struggle. Or every black movie needs to have like a, a a thoughtful commentary on this particular thing. That's why so many black movies recently have been so uninteresting because they focus on shit that black people would rather get away from and not want to talk about. I'm here to watch a fucking movie. I don't want to have a reflection of my real life portrayed in the fucking film. I don't want a slave documentary. Show me a good time. Show me some regular shit from a black perspective. That's it. But he's not necessarily for the culture, you know. He dodges a lot of stuff from a black standpoint. AKA, he's very safe. I get that. But would you listen to Drake if he was... I mean, I would at this point because I've gotten so much substanceless music from him. But the best music that I like from Drake has never really contained that deep of a message. It's been very personal. It's been very personable. It's been very closely attached to the life that he's lived and i think that's okay nobody's destroying the genre adding more elements to it brings in another crowd so when you add subgenres to an already existing genre you're going to add people listening to that subgenre and because people don't know how to properly categorize subgenres they include everything under the under the guise of this one large ecosystem and you could just say that this group is attached to this and then they all become just like standard hip-hop fans like people who listen to yeet are not regular hip-hop niggas most likely that's okay but they all get grouped in with people that want to listen to like most deaf era most deaf type music and it's just not like that nobody gets acknowledged for their own skill set anymore they just have to they have to adhere to this particular type of rubric and everybody doesn't fit that style and it's a lot of rappers that would not have made it today if they existed back in this era because nobody would have acknowledged them or accepted them as such but you have to broaden your horizon if you want to increase your range and bring in more ideas that's what needs to happen that's what this was about i saw that i didn't know that's what this was about i saw a nigga saying drake most definitely is better and has more music in his discography that I'ma listen to than most Def. And I didn't know what the reason for that was for. I didn't. I had zero clue. I had no clue that that's what the fuck that was about. But like, I had no idea that that's what this was in reference to. I'm like, why they hate on most Def randomly? I just thought it was a Twitter thing for today. Drake has the longest hot streak in hip hop history. He arguably the most successful hip hop artist ever. He is hip hop um these are these are facts old niggas like most okay so you know we, we veering off now hate that it's true i wouldn't say he hates that it's true um again i just think that he don't see the hype he don't see the he don't see the the deserving of it i guess and that's really what my biggest question is when i listen to the biggest of the biggest who are also hailed as the best of the best when i hear the better of the records that are being released not from the mainstream or not from the biggest of the big 
So when these when these people give these like accolades and they get these like all this notoriety off the numbers that they do and the success that they have, I think that's great. Congratulations, Drake. Um, I also just feel like that it don't that don't affect the way I listen to this person's music. It never does. It shouldn't. You know, the hip hop numbers conversation isn't included not because people want to hate on those who are successful it's just because it don't mean nothing when it's in my ears um so when faced with questions like this they discredit to try and bring drake down to their level down to their level and you're talking about most deaf is insane that's an insane thing to say that's an insane thing to say <laughs> that's crazy i will agree that's crazy Look at the reply. I think he just attacks rap from a whole different perspective and doesn't see Drake as a lyricist. I don't even think that's the problem that most of has with Drake, to be honest. Um, unless he says that explicitly in the interview. Well, he's wrong if he thinks that as well, because I can make an argument that Drake's rap Drake raps at level mo oh, oh. Uh okay. <laughs> I'm a I didn't know he said Let me just reach in my bag. I'm just gonna grab this real quick. Oh shit. There's there's nothing in there. There's nothing in there. This is this is Drake. This is Drake. And I think that's fine. The bag still look nice. The bag still look nice. I like the bag. I like the bag. I like the bag. That's all. That's that's it. That's what this is. I like the optics of a thing um, without the thing itself necessarily having anything within. You feel me? And I think that's OK. But I also can't lie to myself either, bro. I can't lie to myself and just pretend like because Drake has the aesthetic and he looks nice and he's doing his thing. and He's successful that there's any substance to what he's doing. Not that I require it. That's okay. But to say that he's Drake raps at a level most never has lyrically. Lyrically is insane. I don't know one. I'm trying to give Drake like uh, some level of like, and I can't. There isn't a single song. There isn't a single song. What do you mean? There's more. There's not more, bro. Stop. Terrell, you are wrong. Sleeping on most deaf, of course. Prove me wrong. How do you prove him wrong? The burden of proof is on you. The terrible take. Oh, no, they on his ass. Uh, but you know what? You know what? In his defense. Oh, God. In his defense. Sometimes you say something so crazy, you just can't pull back from it. Sometimes you got to double and triple down. You feel me? Like, sometimes, like. Now I'm 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 here now. I'm in this I'm in this room. So now what we not now what do we do? I'm in this room now, so what do we do? Chat, I'm trying to make my screen dark. I'm 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 about, I'm about to make my screen dark. Hold on a second. I never thought I would see that, to be honest, but it's okay. Okay, here here we go. I'm back. I'm back. Lights out, chat. Lights fucking out. Wow, never mind. I, I lied. Wait, maybe I could re oh I reloaded it. I refreshed it. I refreshed it. Drake era is the era of triple and double entendres. That's not, I mean, that era isn't, it's not really an era. That's just what hip hop is. Um, that's why I mentioned era. Wait, who is he responding to? What did they say? Pen versus pen is Drake. Have you listened to black on both sides? Question. He not going to answer this, but of course the answer is no. I don't think that's a, a proper conclusion to come to, but I think it is a proper conclusion to come to because if you did listen to that album, you would understand it. That that's what that's why this would never be a conversation. Not just that album either. He not gonna answer this. Blah blah blah. Drake, there's uh, eight Twitter accounts that form together to defend him. Doesn't matter if most just gave a slight opinion. They gotta defend. First of all, I've heard it. Second, it's an album from 25 years ago. Are we talking about an album from 99? Most had his time. It's past. This is true. 
Most Def definitely had his time. Um, that don't mean that if I played a record from Most Def right now, it wouldn't stand up lyrically to anything Drake has ever said. Um, Drake era is just more skill. That is crazy. I would say Drake's era is more or supposed to be more versatile. You would expect 25 years later for you to be like the better of everything because those who came before you you have their blueprint their rubric to look up uh, look off of and you kind of know all right this is what the bar is if that, if that's what you're going for i don't think drake's really going for that and again just because you on some black power shit don't make your pen better y'all old as fuck i agree with this to an extent you know uh because some people use the messaging that they're going for as a way to say that since i have a message my music is better or my song is better but that isn't the case for most deaf you know i'm just trying to shoot the argument a little bit of bail but of course you know for most deaf that's just not the case um he happened to have a message but he also happened to have an incredible pen those are just the facts <clears throat> said you a lesbian girl me too you provide the worst example uh, we talking about rap album from 99 because it's one of the greatest hip-hop albums ever i don't know why you mentioned the year in what way is this era more skilled okay y'all discredit drake's lyrical ability because he not on no conscious shit but if they had to rap against each other most is getting cooked i feel like we're changing the argument then at that point saying most deaf is like saying <laughs> this is clay that's what i'm saying how can you say that you literally can't say that some things are you know like they were saying about the Lil nas x and you know portraying jesus and they saying that that was blasphemous this is blasphemy you can't say this you cannot say this because you have to substantiate it with something and you cannot most deaf and drake are never getting into a lyrical sparring match ever so that 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 possibility is gone. All you have left is compare their bars and their pen, and that leaves you with one very clear conclusion.